This video is about asynchronous web communication on protocol level with Silk Performer 15. My name is Stefan Reiner, a product owner of Silk Performer. Silk Performer 15 now supports record and replay of asynchronous web traffic on protocol level. The asynchronous testing functionality for protocol level record replay is designed for web applications that use asynchronous communication patterns such as polling, long polling or push. The characteristics of such applications is periodic, event-based or server-triggered content updates without any user interaction. Asynchronous web application testing on protocol level is less resource intensive, but it is more challenging to script as opposed to the BDL approach, which is a resource intensive but automates the scripting process entirely during recording. Let me show you an example of a web page which updates the page content periodically without any user interaction. The page updates the values as the server pushes new data to the browser. Now let's see how Silk Performer supports this type of web application. For this purpose I select a new web async project type. Give it a name, enter the web application URL and start the recording. The recorder and the web page open as expected. As soon as the browser has got the initial page content, the page is refreshing automatically, initiated by server data pushes. We can see the data fragments coming in in the recorder's log pane. Now we stop the recording. And save the captured traffic. The recorder created a so-called capture file, which you can see now open in Silk Performer. In the left pane, you can see the request and response frames highlighted, which belong to a particular connection. The new web async project types allows me to generate the script in a separate step, giving me the advantage of not having to re-record the application if I want to change any script, uh, scripting options, such as applying recording rules or whether the performer should detect any asynchronous communication patterns and modify the script accordingly. Now let's generate the script. As you can see, the script contains a so-called callback function, which is called every time the virtual user receives an asynchronous message or data fragment from the server. This may happen any time during the normal script execution. However, callback functions allow the user to react asynchronously to periodic or event-based or server-triggered updates. The recorder also added a web async prepare push BDL call in order to initiate an asynchronous communication channel along with a subsequent web URL call, in this case web URL post bin. Web async prepare push takes an optional parameter which specifies the callback function, which is called at the times mentioned previously. For further details, please consult the help system. It contains detailed scenario descriptions and sample code fragments. Now I'll add a wait statement at the end of the script so that we can watch some callbacks coming in during replay. I also add a print statement which will show the content updates sent via server pushes. Now 
Now it's time for a try script run. I disable the think times, which is on by default for the async web project type. As soon as the asynchronous communication channel has been established, the true log shows callback function calls handling the incoming data fragments pushed by the server through the open connection. Of course, you can see these callback calls also in the output pane. Now you have seen two new concepts in Silver Performer 15 for successfully handling asynchronous communication patterns. A, the offline scripting capability, which allows you to capture and store the traffic of the recorded session and generate scripts as a separate step. And B, asynchronous callback functions, which are executed in parallel to normal virtual user activity.